Hi, this is Saul Carter with Others Realty, uh, the premier short sale uh, group in Northern California. I just wanted to speak to you a bit about today about the difference between an investor um, and a servicer. Um, a lot of people out there, they receive their monthly mortgage statements from a Wells Fargo or a B of A city mortgage. Um, wow, there's so many that I, EMC, LBPS, all kinds of other companies out there. Um, and some of these people are banks or traditional banks that people are very used to. So they're used to receiving a statement from them. They just assume that when they make that payment, that it is Wells Fargo or Bank of America or Chase that is getting that, uh, re basically receiving the benefit of that. Um, that's not necessarily the case. Um, in fact, a lot of these people are servicing the loan only. And then there is other entities out there like Mellon and, and Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac or there's a multitude of other uh, <clears throat> investors that actually own the debt. Um, so how that affects you as a, a person considering a short sale um, is that you run into a situation where you have to satisfy the servicer because they're given guidelines from the um, negotiator, or sorry, they're given guidelines from the investors that basically, but they're broad guidelines. They're guidelines that go across um, everything, every individual uh, mortgage out there, and they just have to write all these rules that apply to everything. Well, what I found over the course of negotiating with Bank of America, Chase, uh, Wells Fargo, City Mortgage, GMAC, all these other banks, is that guidelines don't mean anything. Um, in fact, what really means the most to all of them are is one thing, and that is how much money are they going to make? Are they going to make more money in the short sale than they will in the foreclosure? If they are, they may stink about it and complain how much money they're losing and everything, but in the end, they approve it because they're making more money. And, investors or banks are in one business and one business only and that business is to make money so reason I want to talk about this is we're in the midst of doing a short sale with uh, with a company that's a servicer uh, owned by IBM called LBPS um, <clears throat> they are relatively new they've only been around for about six eight months now I've closed about five deals with them um, they received a portfolio from Fannie Mae of about 45,000 loans in November. Um, and so they are servicing these loans on behalf of Fannie Mae. Well, have this one particular one that uh, is the valuation came back at 185,000. The real value of the property is maybe 160 to 170. Um, and they're just fighting and fighting and they won't do it. Well, that's because they believe they're back east somewhere. They believe that the value is 185, and they just believe that I, as the agent, of just making up a bunch of stories trying to get the short sale done. When I have given them multitudes of big stacks of information, proving not just giving my opinion, but proving the value of this property, um, they actually came back. Uh, Fannie Mae did, um, and said, "Oh, well, we don't, we're not going to do it. It has to be 185." So what did we do? Um, we went to the CEO of Fannie Mae. Now, I also told you that we were talking to LBPS, and they are the servicer, but you notice that I transitioned very quickly into talking about communicating with the investor directly. So um, we do that all the time, and literally, if, if we don't get the answer that we want, we just escalate on up to, to the ladder. Um, we never actually received a, an, an email or a communication back from the CEO, however, we did all of a sudden get a call about two hours later from a, a, an agent going out to do a supplemental valuation of the property's value, and uh, which I thought was funny because they're going to admit to us that they see where the problem is. They're just going to go, and then they'll come back to say, well, we've decided and we'll go ahead and make the difference in this one deal. I love that. That's fine. They can take the credit all they want. I just want the closed short sale. So... Anyway, that's a little bit just a kind of a, a mishmash of, uh, of content on servicer versus investor, um, but uh, it's something to think about when you're doing a short sale and understanding that. And if you don't have an agent that understands what the difference is or knows how to find that investor, because it's not always as easy as it, as it may seem, um, then 
you need to make an assessment on who you're going to list your property with. If you're talking to an agent that says, I don't know how to find who the investor is, you need to find somebody who does or else you're not going to the right agent that can get your short sale done. So if you have any other questions or anything, feel free to make some comments below um, or fill out the little form on the side here. Would love to speak with any of you regarding any of these details. Um, appreciate your time and uh, here's to doing real estate the other's way. Thank you.